the common name of this tree is the Modesto Um, the genus Braxinus, F-R-A-X is I-N-E-S, F-R-A-X means Braxinus, all ash trees are in the genus Braxinus. And the epithet is Verutina, V-E-L-U-T-I-N-A, V-E-L-U-T-I-N-A, Braxinus Verutina. Praxinus volutina is from Arizona. It's a native oak in Arizona, oh, it's a native ash in Arizona. And what happened was these ashes were grown, they were, they were grown all over as ornamentals. And in a park in the city of Modesto, long ago, there was a mutation and the mutation created a different kind of ash tree. And that was taken and propagated, and that's what we have all over here now. And it's called the Modesto ash. So it's a mutant of the Arizona ash. And that's what we have lining all these streets in here around campus. And they're huge, old Modesto ash trees. People love them. One problem they get is mistletoe. And mistletoe is a partial parasite. It's a parasitic plant that grows off of the limbs. And it's hard to see it right now because of all the leaves. But um, believe me, it's up there. And what the, what the uh, mistletoe looks like is a green pom-pom. If it was in the middle of winter right now, the ash would lose all its leaves and you'd see these big green pom-poms all over the tree. Those would be the mistletoe plants. They're evergreen. The ash is the seed. By the way, this is another angiosperm or anthophyll. Related to the olive, actually. It's in the olive family. Um, what are ashes used for? The wood is extremely dense and hard and it resembles oak. Oak is a premium cabinet wood for making furniture. Ash looks very similar, but it's lighter in color, more blonde, they say, and it's stained darker to make it look like oak. So it's kind of a cheaper oak, uh, or artificial oak for furniture. And there's one other very big use for it, um, which becomes very important in October because of a seven game series that's played. Baseball bats. Baseball bats are made of ash wood. <clears throat> Period. And <clears throat> I don't know if you guys follow baseball. A few years ago they switched to a different wood. You know what I'm talking about? They didn't experiment. They used maple wood. Maple wood bats were all the rage. And what they found was the maple shattered and people were getting injured by all the broken bats. Then they went back to half ash, half maple. Now it's all ash. No more maple bats. Maple is another hard, dense wood that's very blonde or light colored. And the thing is it's more brittle and it shatters. When a baseball bat shatters, it's dangerous. 